What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS where we're going to be answering all of your frequently asked questions such as what exactly is the Town Hall 10 tier system? Why is the CWL implementing it? How do I calculate my weight? How do I find out what tier I'm in? How is tier 1 changed? Why does my Archer Queen hate me? All of these questions are going to be answered in this quick reference guide to the Town Hall 10 tier system. All right, guys, before we break down the chart, I want to answer the question that a lot of people have, which is why do we do the tier system in the CWL? Basically, just to put it plain and simple, the way Supercell weights defenses uh, versus how it would normally be in, uh, in the war community is Supercell, for example, if you have a fully maxed Town Hall 10, or everything maxed, but say you've only dropped one bomb tower or no bomb towers at all, your weight would be at the bottom of the map and now you would be matching even though you're an 87k you'd match an 87k that say for example did drop bomb towers so your defenses are a lot stronger than his making it a lot easier for him to three star you that kind of thing so doing something like the tier system makes it to where it's not so much that people were engineering bases like in season one, but more in the sense of modifying them uh, to make it to where they have better defenses but are still lower in the weight system. So using something like this makes it to where it's an even playing field across the board from top to bottom. So starting off on the left hand side, I will be breaking the base weights down a little later in the video, uh, but that is how the, ba uh, the base weight system works, 0 to 20, 21 to 140, and again, and going down. I will be showing you guys how to calculate your base weight so you get it right every single time so you don't have the wrong weight on a roster. Okay, and for the tiers, uh, starting at tier one, which I'll be doing a whole separate thing uh, coming up very shortly, but tier one being the lightest weight Town Hall 10 all the way down to tier five, which would be your heaviest Town Hall 10, which translates into, like I mentioned earlier, the roster weight being from 91 down to 95, again, being the maxed. So hero limits in tier one is the only tier that has hero limits. Again, we'll be getting into that. Uh, tiers two through five have no hero limits. Uh, same thing with the lab limits. Tier one is the only tier that has lab limits. The other ones do not, uh, two through five. And this is the interesting one right here. Required on roster is no, and I'll be breaking all of this down coming up. Uh, tiers two through five are required to show up on the rosters and required in war. Now, although the tier one town hall tens are not required in war, again, this is all gonna make sense very shortly, uh, are not required in war, but with more Town Hall 9s, especially the quote-unquote lifelong Town Hall 9s that either didn't have money to upgrade uh, to Town Hall 10, didn't want to sit a bunch of wars before they could be in the competitive war scene as a light Town Hall 10, and those that don't have a lot of time in farming or just hate farming altogether, this new Tier 1 system, I'm telling you guys, it is going to revolutionize the war community as far as the CWL goes. And required in war, the answer is yes for tiers, again, 2 through 5. So let's go ahead and dive into Tier 1 so I can explain everything that you guys just heard. All right, and this is a chart that's going to be breaking down what exactly the offensive limits are to a tier one and what exactly you can upgrade and how does all this break down. We are going to be covering this entire chart for you guys real quick, starting off with the farm troops. Now, remember, this is only for tier one town hall tens starting off with the farm troops. All the troops in this column right here, you can upgrade to max Town Hall 10 and you will not move up a tier. So you max out these troops, you'll still be tier one. Now this is where there's going to be a lot of strategy involved and that's uh, under the war troops. Now you only can pick four of these troops listed here. The wall breaker, the dragon, the Pekka, the baby drag, miner, hog, Valkyrie, golem, hound, and bowler. So out of those troops I just mentioned, you can pick four of those to be max Town Hall 10 and those will now be your four war troops. And a little disclaimer where a lot of people had a question is, what if I 
unlock bowlers at level one in my dark barracks? And what if I unlock miners level one in my regular elixir barracks? Will that be still considered a war troop? The answer is no. You are allowed to unlock the bowler and the miner from your barracks and it does not uh, it will not be one of these four war troops. When it jumps up is when you upgrade them in the lab. So bowlers level two, miners to level two and or you know up to level three. Now that's considered your your war troop and now you are locked in there. Choose wisely, you only get four from this column. Moving over real quick to the spells. Uh, we won't really cover the farm spells too much. It's just lightning, poison, earthquake. You can have those max level for Town Hall 10 and you will not move up a tier. And the spells, this, and again, well, there's gonna be a lot of strategy involved because a lot of these spells are coupled with what war troops you're gonna pick. Uh, so you pick, you can pick two out of the six being the heal jump freeze skeleton clone and haste and again something like your freeze you do already have at level nine uh, for those of you that forgot i know it's not used a lot but uh another thing is whether you have freeze level two or freeze level five which is the max uh, level of freeze at town hall 10 does not make a difference uh you'll still be in tier one whether you have a freeze level two or freeze level five using that as an example and covering the heroes real quick you can have a level 35 archer queen and a level 35 barbarian king now again just for an example, if you move your Archer Queen up to level 36, you are no longer a tier one Town Hall 10. You will, no matter what your weight is, you will automatically jump up to tier two Town Hall 10 if you upgrade your Archer Queen to level 36. Again, just using that as an example. Same thing with the War Troops. If you upgrade five of those War Troops, now you are going to be a tier two. Same thing with the spells. You upgrade uh, three of them you're automatically a tier two, despite what your defense weight is. All right, so this is how you determine what tier you're in as a Town Hall 10. All you have to do is add up each one of your defenses individually using the values in this chart. So go ahead and screenshot it if you like. Using the cannon as an example, if you have one level 12 cannon, that is five points. So if you have six level 12 cannons, that will equal 30 points. And what you do is you do that for each of these defenses listed on this chart to determine your weight. Now, a couple defenses, just to clear the air, a couple defenses, despite what their level is, have no weight value. That being the air sweeper, the Tesla, the air defense, the walls and the traps, none of those have a weight value. So whether you have a level five air sweeper or a level seven air sweeper does not change the weight. Those are usually the defenses you want to consider upgrading first. Anything that is town hall nine level also has zero weight. So all the levels listed on this chart are all town hall 10 upgrades. Let me show you guys an example of me using my base and how I determine what my weight is and what tier I am. Okay, so the weight of my Town Hall 10 under the CWL Town Hall 10 tier system is 127. Now, how did I get that number? So level three Inferno Towers are each worth 30 points each. You have two of them, two times 30 equals 60. Now the level eight Wizard Towers, so these Wizard Towers are upgraded one level at Town Hall 10. Each of them are worth eight points. You got four of them, four times eight equals 32. And you have seven level 12 Archer Towers. Each of these are worth five points each. So seven times five equals 35. I know it's rocket science. So if you add 60 plus 32 plus 35, that equals 127, meaning I am a tier two Town Hall 10. Just to cover the defenses up at the top of the map real quick. So if you look at the Teslas, the air sweepers, and the air defenses, those are all max Town Hall 10 level, but they carry no weight. Same thing with all Town Hall 9 defenses. If you look at the Expos, the Mortars, the Cannons, and the Bomb Towers, those are all maxed out Town Hall 9 level, and they carry zero weight. Okay, just a quick tip to make it that much easier to help you guys determine what your weight is in the tier system. All you have to do is go to the layout editor, go ahead and hit edit layout, select remove all, and just like that, not only do you guys see how many defenses you have, but it even tells you the level to each defense, making it that much easier to help you determine what your weight is in the tier system.
Okay, real quick, take a look at Tier 1. Not only did it have the biggest change from Season 2 going into Season 3, but it is going to make the biggest difference in the war community that we have ever seen, and this is why. Look at where it says required on roster. Notice that it says no for tier ones. What this means is the only Town Hall 10s that are going to be required on a roster is tier two or higher. So you have to ask yourself the question, would you rather have a max Town Hall 9 on the war map, or would you rather have a tier one Town Hall 10 on the war map? Ask yourself that question. Uh, for the Town Hall 9s, thinking about upgrading that are watching this, or the Town Hall 10s that have recently upgraded, one thing uh, I want you guys to be aware of is the base weight and the gem pack. When you first upgrade to Town Hall 10, Supercell offers you a gem pack. I believe it's like 20 bucks, and you get a level 2 Inferno Tower. Just be advised. If you buy the gem pack, uh, that level two Inferno Tower is 18 points in weight, uh, which is pretty much going to be the max that you can be. You'd be 18 out of 20. So you could upgrade a mortar or you know a bomb tower or something like that. Um, and then you pretty much be maxed out. Anything that's over 20, you're now in tier two. So be really careful when you're strategizing, uh, when you're upgrading your defenses. One other thing to consider is the Inferno Tower level one also has zero weight, just like all of the Town Hall nine defenses. Okay, so we've pretty much covered the tier system one through five. We've talked about tier one, not only the defense upgrades, but most importantly, the offensive upgrades, that being the four out of the 10 war troops available and the two out of the six spells that you can upgrade. And I even showed you guys how to figure out what your base weight uh, using my weight and also the chart and to help you guys calculate it. So I really hope that this video helps you guys in determining your base weight. And I truly hope that some Town Hall 9s get inspired and start pressing the button and moving on to Town Hall 10. It is a lot of fun, very challenging, but it is a lot of fun. And I hope you guys all enjoy the video and found it very helpful. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.